I just shot my fourth game of the season with the Chicago Bears, and they played the Dolphins this game. Now there was a record set, which made it special. The weather was beautiful, but the hard shadows made it very, very tough to shoot. First things first, Justin Fields. Had to put him in the first slide. He absolutely balled out this game. Broke the NFL record for rushing yards by a quarterback in a regular season game. I mean, I had to put him first. This is him celebrating a first down, pointing, and it almost looks like he's smiling and pointing to my camera. The beautiful framing with him between the two players, and you can see him in focus. That's the beautiful thing about this 400 millimeter lens. The focus distance is very, very slim, so if he's in focus, not really anything else is going to be. Per usual, we got the quarterback slide here. Now, I would say that this photo up top is my favorite I took of Justin Fields all day. Now, I didn't want to pose the first frame because he had such a great rushing day and I didn't want to show him passing the ball, but I just loved how you can only really see half of him and he's clearly in focus. The foreground is out of focus and something about the framing is just really special. Now, this was kind of on accident. I was just shooting him throwing the ball and somebody ran in front of the camera. It turned out great, but to say I planned for this shot, I would be lying. Now we have Tua on the bottom. Tua rolling out and I was pretty close to him at this situation. I was on the 400 millimeter lens, but he was running towards me. Now, the thing I love about this shot is the grass kicking up. You can see the grass on the bottom of the frame kicking up as he's running, as maybe somebody else was running. And I just think it's the cherry on top for a shot like this. I think it just turned out spectacular. And I just loved this photo that showed a lot of motion. Now I had to get a little artsy because we had these hard shadows all throughout the game. And I pulled out my 24 to 70 and I got these two shots. You see up top, there's the field goal post on the right, the bright sky up top, and then some hard shadows coming in. I saw this and I just couldn't pass up the opportunity to get the photo. Not much to it, it was all lighting, but I think it turned out amazing. And then we have the one on the bottom where the sun isn't in the background here, but we have that clear sky. We got the nice little architecture of the stadium up top and then coming down below. Sky up there with a little bit of the skyline and then the hard shadows with, of course, the teams on the field in the foreground. I mean, I just love the composition of this. Nothing crazy was happening during the game, but I just love the framing. And this was the artist coming out in me whenever a lot of the times these shots aren't really artistic. I had to get something cool that appealed to my eye. Out of all the games I shot this year, this one was probably the most fun. Part of that had to do with how many points the teams put up, because both teams put up 30 points, but also Tua is unbelievable. It's just so fun to watch because he's so unique, and that's what these shots are. It almost looks like this could have been the same play with two different cameras rolling, but maybe that's just his unorthodox style of play. It looks like he might be falling over in both shots. I definitely would say the top one he's falling over, the bottom one just looks like he's loading up for a deep ball, but there's just something about how he moves. It's just really fun to shoot. And these photos were cool. I love the motion. I love how it really captures a moment of him just loading up, ready to go. The cheetah, Tyree Kill, one of the most electrifying players in the league, and I knew it would be fun to shoot him during this game. Now we have this shot, him carrying the ball, clearly a defender catching him, but not having much luck doing it. I was pretty close to him with that 400 mil. I think I did crop in a bit on this shot, but I just love how you can actually see his face. You can see the emotion, you can see him running, and you can just feel how hard he's running. I don't know, but I just love this one. And then the shot we got on the bottom, Tyreek Hill running a route. Just him cutting, looking over, not sure if he ended up getting the ball this play, not sure if the pass was thrown to him, but I don't know, I just liked how he was solo in the frame. And just like I mentioned a couple games ago with the Debo Samuel shots, wanting to get good shots of him, 
That's how it was for Tyree Kill during this game. He's a stud, arguably the best player on the field. So I had to get a couple good shots of him and I think I accomplished that. I will talk about it over and over and over again, but Justin Fields ran out of his mind this game and this is Justin Fields running. That's what these shots are all about. Up top, this is Justin Fields' huge run. He broke it for, I think it was like 62 yards. It looked like the play was almost over and then because he's such an electrifying player, he just could find a way out of it and get a 60 yard run. I mean, does it get better than that? And I was at the opposite end of the field, able to get a bunch of shots of him coming down. And this is just one up top, but I did get a bunch more, pretty much holding down that shutter for his entire run. It was kind of just luck, but then the cherry on top is that Bears logo in the back. Composition, branding, gotta love it. And then on the bottom, we got Justin Fields scrambling once again. Not sure exactly what run this was, but him cutting and clearly showing his shiftiness. Thought this one was just really fun and captured a moment where you can just see how athletic he is. It doesn't even make sense most of the time, but just his shiftiness, this one captures that perfectly. Sometimes during these games, you kind of just get lucky for where you are. Now you can't really predict where the play is gonna, you can't always be right for which side the touchdown's gonna be on, but this was one of the times where I guessed correctly. Darnell Mooney caught a diving pass into the end zone in the corner that I was in. This celebration shot that you see, that is from that touchdown. He came and he flexed to the crowd right in front of my camera. I pull out my wide lens with my 24 to 70 and I get the moment. I capture the moment and was it luck? Yes, but was I also prepared for if that would happen? Absolutely. So the guessing game kind of paid off here. Another big thing about this game was Chase Claypool being traded to the Bears. He came from the Steelers to the Bears. This was his first game. He was a player that we knew we wanted to target and we knew we wanted to get some great shots of. That's exactly what we did here. This was on a sweep. They handed the ball to him and he was coming around the end that I was on and I could get a nice shot of him solo coming around the edge. Just an easy moment to capture, but a great time to show him in a Bears uniform. A couple more Dolphins shots here. We got up top the huddle to on a knee. I thought that kind of added a little bit of depth to it. I've gotten these shots pretty much every game for both teams, every single game. But this one was the Dolphins. The only time I'm probably going to be shooting the Dolphins this year. So seeing Tua on a knee calling the play with nothing else in the background, one of my favorite shots to get every single game. Now we also have this one on the bottom. Why is it special? Well, we got the head coach of the Dolphins and then we got Tua on the right. We got the head coach and the quarterback. Nothing else behind, so much separation between them in the background. It was one of those moments that nobody else was probably shooting. Nobody else probably got this shot, so that's what makes it special. I got a shot that nobody else knew was happening, and it was just cool to see them interacting, I think, during a timeout. Defense, defense, defense. Hard shots to get are of defensive players making plays. Now, these ones aren't necessarily them making plays, but we have the rookie for the Bears, Brisker, up top. And this is him celebrating after a big third down stop. He was running and threw his arms up. And just like that, I got him solo in the frame. I got this shot and I was like, man, this might be one of my best shots of the year. I don't know what it is, but I love how the framing turned out. Because whenever you have dead space like that with a long lens like a 400 millimeter, I just think it looks so good because it's known for being such a tight lens. But whenever you can kind of portray that compression without the photo just being of the subject, there's something special about it. Like I mentioned before, Chase Claypool was traded to the Bears before this game. Bradley Chubb was traded to the Dolphins before this game. This was his debut for the Dolphins, so I had to get some good shots of him. I got some during pregame, but during the game, I thought this one was cool because you see him in front of the Bears huddle, which it kind of frames him up perfectly. And to me, it's almost a metaphor of him versus the Bears. Now, I'm not a big fan of overthinking shots like that, but that's really what I thought when I took this photo. And I think it's cool to see him versus the Bears. Him solo getting ready for whatever they're about to bring to him. Now, the last couple here, I usually include shots that don't really have much to do with the game. Up top, we got Tua, and there's something about this where all of the other players are in the shadows and he is in the light. Now, this is what I was talking about. There was hard light during the game. Did it make it difficult to shoot? Absolutely. 
Did I make it work? Absolutely, but I thought I could use it to my advantage here. You see everybody's dark and then he is bright. That's nothing to do with editing. That is all to do with the light that was going on during the game. Justin Fields solo right here. Beautiful, not much to it. Compression, him by himself in the frame. What else could I ask for? And then we have Chase Claypool with that sun flare during pregame. Not much context here but just a great shot with the sun behind his head. This comes down to the hard light again and knowing your camera settings, I knew I had to underexpose it a little bit. Yes, the sky is still blown out, but that's kind of inevitable whenever it's so, so bright and then there's shadows on the subject. I knew I wanted to expose for him properly, but also use the sun to my advantage and get that sun flare. There we are, one more week in the books. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. And that's it, that's all I ask for. I'm gonna keep coming back to provide value for you and to try and help you become a better photographer, but I will be putting out more and more and more. See you soon.